Hi, I'm Dr. Kyle Stanley, and this is my expert tip. My tip is to use a stain above it. So we now have some implant companies that have made these one abutment, one time concept abutments that allow us to do something that has both surgical flexibility and restorative flexibility. So one example is the connect abutment from MIS. So I can still place a bone level implant and adjust the, the depth of whatever I wanna do. And then I can transition that implant to a tissue level implant. Now, what's good about this? What's good about this is that I'm bringing away everything that I'm gonna be doing on the restorative side from that bone level. You know, I like to place implants mostly subcrestal. So I'm bringing it away from the bone. But also I can now have this one abutment one time concept where I'm not removing the abutment multiple times, ripping that hemidesmosomal attachment. And one of the best things that I love about this type of stain abutment is that I can do a screw retain crown. You know, we know from the research that cement can be a big problem with implant dentistry. One research showed uh, over 80% of implants with periimplantitis had excess cement. So I think with a stay in abutment, it allows us to, our surgeons have surgical flexibility and for restorative doctors to have restorative flexibility, all while increasing the biology of that transmucosal region and doing a screw retain crown. So that's my expert tip for today.